who says you can't have a yamban in a modern home watch us as we tie this yamban in our backyard welcome to my channel If you buy food stuff in bulk, you definitely want a situation where they don't go bad quickly. That's the reason we are making this yam ban at the backyard. So, um, firstly, my mom is tying the sticks against this iron. Truthfully, I don't know how to tie yam ban, so that's why I'm featuring my mom here. So, actually, I didn't make this um, iron cage like structure for a yam ban. I actually made it for a generator at the office, but then it was too big, so I had to make a smaller one. And this one was just so mom C decided to help me store my yams this way. So, let's see how she tied these yams because I'm also learning, and also, this is going to be a documentary video for my children so that they can learn how to tie bands <laughs> so that they can learn how to tie them okay <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying so first she tied the rope against the stick and also against the iron and then she placed each yarn and tied them So looking at this, it was quite easy, although technical. She just kept placing the arms on each other until the line was filled. And then on the last one, she tied it against the iron. Whenever you want to take out a yam, always take out from the top to the bottom and not from the bottom upwards and also do not take yam from the middle so that you don't disrupt the line He also advised always start the barn away from the ground so that water doesn't come and carry or spoil it and also so that insect doesn't really have quick access to get them. And then also remove the heads of the yam whenever they are growing up like this so that they don't turn into yam seedlings that is yam for planting and whenever the yam turn, turns into yam seedling they won't be able to you know they won't be sweet anymore and you may not like to eat them again so this particular head of the yam always make sure to pull them up from the heads of the yams okay these yams can stay up on this band even up to one year without having any form of spoil or having that kind of holes that you just keep peeling and peeling until you get to the end of the yams also it's hard for rats or other kind of rodents and insects to come and invade this kind of yam so you can keep them here for as long as you want for me who likes storing food in large quantities i think this is one perfect way for me to keep my yams although these yams were locally sourced from my village probably when i buy the other sweeter yams from the north out i might make a video again so all thanks for my mom for helping me create this beautiful yam ban i'll be featuring now more on this channel because i believe she'll be helping me do a lot of other things and i also hope that you learned how to tie yam bands today you can even do a mini ban in your kitchen if you can even if you have just five tubers of yams at least it will help the yams to stay longer so i hope you enjoyed my ban making vlog i would love to see you in my next video please stay subscribed and see you next time